uh, read Sean's story here. So meet Sean. Uh, let me make sure this is showing up pretty good in OBS. Perfect. That's perfect, actually. Meet Sean. At eight years old, Sean was diagnosed with primary acylic... God, I can't pronounce these words. With PCD. We'll just say that. PCD is a rare inherited condition that affects the motility of his lungs cilia, which are responsible for keeping his lungs, ears, and sinuses free from infection. Ooh. Oh, wow. I don't have a gray shirt. They've got a red shirt with white lettering, and they've got a blue shirt with red and white lettering. I don't have a gray shirt. Hmm. I'll, I'll have to go back to their website and see uh, see if they've got any more additions to the shirt repertoire there. I'm actually wearing my Twitch kitten shirt today. Since I haven't been able to stream uh, as much as if I wanted to this month. Uh, well, it's October now. The last month, the last month really, the last four weeks or so. I haven't really been able to get too much time to show off my Twitch kitten shirt. So, hey, Twitch kittens. Uh, uh, where was I? Yes, PCD is a rare inherited condition that affects uh, free from infection. Since there is no cure for PCD, Sean struggles to breathe on a daily basis. Ooh, that's not good. He spends a lot of time at a CHOP for treatments, tests, and trials. Being stuck in the hospital for hours at a time, art was a way for Sean to distract himself from being sick. Child Life noticed his love of drawing and asked him to enter the 2014 White Cloud Box Design Contest. Sean's design reflects his favorite school activities, art, music, PE, and field day. Well, who doesn't like field day? And after hundreds of submissions from across the country from Children's Miracle Network Hospital, Sean's design came in second. Wow, second place. Congrats there, Sean. Bringing in a total of 59,444 votes. Funds raised through CMN at CHOP benefit vital patient care programs and child life services. These programs provide constant support for the kinds of services that truly make a difference in the lives of children and families like the Shawns. <laughs> like the Shawns. Like Shawns. Uh, whoever wrote these up didn't proofread too well, I think. The last one had a couple of typos too, but. Sean says his mom explains it to him like a broom. Everyone else has a broom to get out the junk in your lungs. Well, my broom only has three bristles. Yeah, that's not very effective, is it? I feel excited to help Chop. It's not fun going to the hospital for treatment, but Chop always makes me feel better and makes the best of a not-so-good situation. Indeed. So again, the money not just going to say the research and development stuff the staffing the equipment the treatment programs all that stuff it goes to the quality of life stuff too like art classes like buying video games for the kids to play while they're in a hospital like as we saw uh it might have been last week or the week before um pet the pet therapy program where you know they'll bring you know dogs in cats in various animals to interact with the kids and yeah, as we all know you know, having interaction with an animal like that psychologically and physically helps the human body um, heal itself as well. So, um, you know, pet therapy, all that kind of stuff. So, so all those sort of quality of life things, music therapy as well, you know, uh, you know, they'll have people come in and play music during treatments and that kind of stuff. Um, so all that kind of stuff is where this money goes that we raise for the Children's Miracle Network through Extra Life. And again, you now like they say, all funds, that, that's every single penny that we raise here from Extra Life goes directly to the hospitals, goes directly for, for the children. That, that's one thing I, I, I sort of have been harping on the last five years, or not harping on, but mentioning. Because, you know, uh, a lot of times you have these charities... And, and I don't want to say skim off the top, but that's what they're doing. They're skimming a little bit off the top or a lot, depending on on the nature of the charity. Um, as I found out many years ago, that some of those uh, fundraising phone calls that we get for our local policemen's or firemen's um, associations, well, the charity that actually or the organization that actually runs those fundraising efforts, they take 90 percent of what is donated for their own uh, operating costs and the actual fire department, the actual police department only get 10% of the donation. That's insane. Um, so I always try to make it a point to mention that 100% of what is donated here 
through Children's Miracle Network, through Extra Life, goes to the hospitals, goes to the children. They get every penny of it. Um, this is completely voluntary on our part, the gamers part. And Extra Life has those corporate partners that help them cover their, their expenses so they don't have to take anything for operating costs, which is which is another one of the, the great reasons why I enjoy doing Extra Life because because the reasons like that. It, it's, it's for the kids. It, it, that's why Extra Life got started, to help save kids' lives. So every single penny that is raised goes towards that effort. So uh, great stuff there. And uh, again, you know, one of the reasons why I, I'm so glad to be able to do something with my hobby, with my passion, uh, you know, which is gaming uh, and do some good with it instead of, you know, spend time away from the wife, spend time away from the kids uh, down here in the basement, uh, you know, just playing games uh, for my own amusement, my own sake. At least with this, you know, I can do something I can give back uh, to my community by raising this money. Uh, for the hospital and for the kids. So all good stuff there. Who's being attacked? Oh, our uh, our Jedi here. A Jedi is being attacked by the snake. So he has been ranking up. He's a Thane now. I think he's been Thane for, for this past week. So uh, he is active as far as I know. It's otherwise good there. Army on the go. So let's go on. Battle report of the week. Let's go with it. Let, let's roll with it here so uh the main the main battle reports we're going to look at here are all these treasure castle attacks but i did want to uh did want to showcase um oh we don't need that oh that's a biggie did i see and show this one okay it's the same as pretty much the same as the the one we saw earlier all right so i just want to make sure all my reports get cleared out here we're good we're good we're good um three weeks since we bought uh that new village anyway uh so let's take a look at emperor and empress the bubba the bubbas let's take a look at the bubbas hitting up the wolf here shall we let's take a look oh teeny wolf castle see this is the wolf castle i'd like to like to see this is the one i would like to attack so interesting formation anyway Let me speed this up because I, I do only have about 10 to 15 minutes before we do have to get going to the soccer game there. The attacker wins. Okay, so they did get in. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, pretty effective. Let me... Uh... So only lost 22 archers. Yeah, obviously, pikemen with you know we're gonna lose pikemen with the killing pits. No catapults. So that's that's actually not too bad. That's uh that's a pretty decent attack there. Uh, pretty much as minimal uh, amount of losses as you probably could have uh, on this particular castle here. It's a nice job there. Well done. Who was that? That was the emperor. That was emperor Belba. Well done there. So a nice little uh you know uh. A nice little uh, arrangement there to hit the, the smaller wolf castle there. Uh, let's take a look at... This is Emperor again attacking another wolf. So let's see what we got here. Sa same type of castle. Slightly larger version of the castle here, obviously. So he's got the catapults down here in the corner. Sally Forth here. I, d I, don't, I didn't notice a Sally Forth in the previous castle. There may have been one. Right, break through the corner and head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you know what? The, yeah, it, it makes sense because it looks like, yeah, the, that corner there would be the weakest point of the castle, the quickest way to get in. So we got, I think there's only one, yep, there was only one left there, so. Obviously a little bit more, more to it, a little bit more, uh, damage taken here, a little bit more losses. Um, but again, pro probably the best, pro probably one of the, one of, one of the best ways to get through to this castle in one, one 
shebang it there. So very good. Good, 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 good. Always nice to have uh, different ideas here, get different looks here on how to hit these castles, especially uh, to take them down in, in one one go here. So very good. So very nice Emperor Bubba. Good job on that. Uh, uh, wolf, those wolf castles there. So let's see what Empress does here. Again, another small... Why does everybody else get so lucky getting these small wolf castles? And I always get... The ones I, I try to attack are always the big nasty fellas. So again, this is uh, like the first one that Emperor Emperor Bubba did. So pretty much the same formation that Empress uh, used here. And this is EB. So we'll see how uh, how uh, they compare to each other here. Okay, so there is a Sally Forth. I see the Sally Forth there. Afford you uh, twice the same treasure. Okay. So let's see. So uh, about the same number of pikemen. No catapults lost. A little bit more losses in archers. So um, and Mrs. E.B. had slightly more of a loss. But again, job done uh, pretty effectively there against the Wolf's Castle. So very nice there. So take note, everybody. Uh nice ways to hit some of these smaller wolf's castles that are somewhere out there and about there so this is all right so this is the duplicate right yep all right so we'll just get rid of this guy all right good so let's take a look at these treasure castles so uh what we saw last week uh or started to see before we uh moved on and decided to save the treasure castle reports last week was uh Taz and uh, Crusaders attacks or Taz's attack, right? Taz's or Empress Bubba's? I forget. It was between the Bubba's. Yeah, it's pretty much all Bubba's. We got we got no Bubba's. It's all Bubba's here. So I guess it's safe to say that the Bubba's win the battle report of the week here. Uh, but we did see uh, we did see this report. Yep. Oh, yes, it was this one and uh, Crusaders. Yes, because this one, Taz missed the chest again. Uh, not as easy as it looks. Again, it's it's all about body blocking and positioning and hoping for the best there. So yes, uh, when Taz went after that treasure, didn't quite get it. Crusader, however, again, uh, slightly different positioning. Looks like he had a few more troops than you did. Uh, but again, it, it, it's pretty much all about body blocking and hoping that you get the body blocks in, uh, well enough before everybody heads this way. So again, he just needs one more. Go right there. And he gets the chest. So very good. So, uh, again, you know, matter of luck, but also, uh, also, you know, positioning number of troops. Um, no, it's sort of taking advantage of the AI and when, uh, the way to the keep is open, it is definitely more difficult because again, the, 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 the AI will take, generally speaking, will take the easiest path to the center of the keep when, uh, the keep is wide open. Um, so that, that's where body blocking and positioning and, and having that bit of luck, uh, really does come in handy there. So, uh, so, so a nice look there on uh, what would look like to be an easy chest to grab, but uh, a nice look on uh, really what you need to do to uh, to get what isn't really an easy chest at all. So let's take a look at these other attacks we got here. Uh, treasure castle attacks. As a matter of fact, we do have a treasure castle fairly close to us. Um, I saw it popped up yes this morning or yesterday. Uh, do we have a report on this? Is this one anybody's attack yet? Uh, nope, apparently not. Um, let's go take a look at this guy while we're doing this. Oop. Should only need one. I think Paladin's Castles and Treasure Castles, you you only need one scout uh, to, to look, take a look at. So, uh, Empress, 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 and Emperor. Okay, so we do have one from Emperor Bubba, so let's take a look at this battle. There's one there, one there, one there, 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 there. Let's see what we got here. 
Again, all team efforts here, which is nice. Sometimes, oh, look how close. See, again, luck with the body blocking here. And there we go. See how this guy stopped behind him instead of moving forward like you would think he would do. So, uh, fortunately, we got some more come in, and then they that forced them right onto that chest again with the body blocking. So, yep. So, sometimes you do, you know, as, be, as best as your layout may be, uh, or formation may be, you still need that one extra little bit of luck. Uh, that the AI cooperates with you. Let's take a look at this one. So that was, this is where the one was that she nabbed in the last report here. So yeah, you got, you got to get this tower down uh, to make it easier to get to that chest. Because, uh, Yep, oh, look, they might have gotten it already, right? Yep, they got it anyway. Yep, so again, I, I was about to say, um, not necessarily need to tower down. You would just need to have enough troops get in here to where they would body block and fill up this little alcove here. Uh, and that, that's pretty much exactly what happened here. Again, with the body blocking and the pathing of the AI, got them right next to that chest. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. So what did she get there? Tier 1? Minimal tier. Tier 3. So that, that's better there. Nice tier 3 chest. Take a look at this report. So coming in from up in this angle. Got to break through the walls there. Open things up a bit. And of course eliminate the rest of the defenders to make things even easier. Okay, so she got something. Tier 1. That was a Tier 1. So, yep. Yeah, okay, so they came, broke through the wall here and came right on through. So, very nice. Empress getting uh, some nice chests there. Well, Tier 1. She had two Tier 1s into Tier 3. But, hey, better better than nothing, I'd say. Better than nothing. Uh, okay, last one here by Empress Bubba. Coming in on this side now. So it looks like this is actually a different uh, treasure uh, castle here. Same layout, uh, but a different uh, different one with the same layout, I guess I should say. Now it's just a matter of filling up the little alcove here. Yeah, see, now they're blocked. Now they're prevented from getting in there. He's behind them. Nobody's going to go that way. So let's see what happens here. That tower has to go down. Or... Uh, oh, look at that. He's... This guy here. Oh. Alright, she got something. And it's not that one. It's one from somewhere else. Oh, this one. Okay, she got this one here. Our right, luck. But again, it's... Uh, this guy started hitting that. But he's just one tile away. And with that... Uh, that thing there, it actually prevented them from getting to that one. But she actually made... She made out with that one. And that was a tier... That was a tier two. That's not bad at all. Obviously, I think Empress Bubba is the big winner this week of the Battle Report. Not only for the Wolf's Castles, but uh, yeah, knocking out these treasure castles pretty well there. Pretty well. All right, so let's see what Mr. EB got here. Is he? Yep, he got it. He got that one there. So, tier two. Nice, quick, and simple. Nice, quick, and simple there, indeed. All right. Tier two spin. And finally, let's finish off here with Taz and see what he did here. Oh. Again, it may look simple to get to. 
but it may not necessarily be simple to get to. I think this one is going to be simple to get to. Yep, there we go. So, nice, ooh, a nice tier 5, too. I just send in for the fun. I don't, uh, vampire. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, well, if you got a nice attack, we still have to give you the props and the honors for it. But yeah, so, yeah, again, that, again, that may look simple, but you got to make sure you get enough troops in there and get the body blocking going and the AI passing going. So very good. Excellent. And the tier five, too. So that is very nice. Very nice on that one. Nice cards you got with that, did you? Excellent, excellent, excellent. So there we go. Nice quick battle report of the weekend. Just in time, let's take a look at our treasure castle. 11 chests. Oh, this one, this one's actually not going to, this one's not too bad. Hmm. Um, hmm. I'll have to think about this one. Um, all right, we got to go anyway, but, uh, yeah, we might, uh, I, I might make an attempt at this guy once my, uh, lowly troops return here from ransacking Taz. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Um, again, thanks again for all the wonderful donations this week. We are up to $285. Our next goal is $300. That's only 15 bucks. Only 15 bucks to hit our next goal and bump that up. I might bump that up to, let's see, we went from 250 to 300. Um, might do 325, 350. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, backdoor full force on that treasure. Backdoor full force. Let me take a look again at this guy. So back door full force. Oh yeah, to get into here. Yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe coming into here and maybe trying to get that one. But yeah, yeah, we we've seen we've seen this one before. We've done reports on this one before. Uh, not that easy. It's a matter of getting in here. And these uh, there, there there's a moat in here. Uh, so it's a matter of digging in through the moat. So um, I don't think with the armies I have right now, I'd actually be able to get to a chest. I don't think I have enough troops. Uh, I don't think 200 troops will, would live long enough, at least with 80 pikemen. If I send in 200 pikemen, it might be enough. Uh, but with 80 pikemen, I don't think they would last long enough to get to the chest. So uh, I'm going to have to think about uh, um, reworking some stuff so I can build up a larger army here somewhere. In the meantime, thanks, everybody. We've got to go. we got a soccer game we got to get to. Uh, 400 cats, 200 archers, and 260 pike. Yeah, I am definitely going to have to build up armies for that guy. Um, but in the meet, uh, throw that into the Discord. Um, yeah, throw that into the Discord and uh, tag me on that so I remember to see it. Uh, see if I can try to do that at some point this week. In the meantime, thanks everybody. I've got to go. Thanks again for all the donations. We'll see everybody next week. Uh, right here, same bat time, same bat channel for our Stronghold Kingdoms, Island Warfare Mayhem for Extra Life, and of course, um, I think I should have a fairly almost normal schedule this coming week for the rest of my streams, Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays at least. Uh, we'll see. The schedule should hopefully be up by Sunday night right here in the channel feed below. Um, in the meantime, thanks everybody. I gotta run. Thanks for stop thanks for hanging with me, Taz. Thanks for stopping by, Cat. And uh we'll see everybody uh this week. Me Taz BJ Waller saying, I'll see everybody in game. <laughs>